It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Well, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. are put to rest. The main course of the deadly climb begins here. Trap blocks activate when you step on them. Don't stop on top of them. Oh, damn it. Again? How long is this gonna go on? It's been every night now. Sheep that's just standing around. I'll give you any amount of money you want. Just get me out of here. I don't know where the hell I am either. How dare you talk to me like that? You're a sheep. I'm the heir to a big corporation. I'm a VIP. Why am I even bothering talking to a sheep? Stand up and stop complaining. All we can do is keep climbing. Shut up! I know. Sheep have interesting habits. They all follow one leader. If the leader falls off a cliff, the entire group will go to its death. Uh, I heard 
heard that this place has eight levels. Does that mean there's an exit? Hey, oh, I got a technique for you. Yeah, let's do it. Allow me to explain the spider. If there is a block in your way, try dangling off the edge and moving around it. It's a useful way to go around a block to find another place to stand. By moving around, you can skip having to move blocks. You mustn't let your guard down. I wonder if my girl's the witch. Oh, you mean the one from the rumors? She got all worked up all of a sudden for no reason the other day. She was just stabbing her dinner with her fork, man. I thought she was gonna reach over and gut me. Maybe you just like those kind of women. Men who want to control women tend to have a desire to be controlled by women. It's the truth. Look around. It's obvious. I passed out here last night, and I'm still here. Does that mean we have to keep going every night until we die? Have you seen them? Those two sheep who attack you while you're climbing. Trying to follow you or what? Uh, no, they're just crazy. I don't know what's going on. I've done it too. Seriously? Hey. Uh, were you paying attention in the confessional? There's someone in the real world who wants me dead. Yeah, I heard. You think of anyone who would do that? Yeah, I can. A lot of them. A lot? But this curse is nothing compared to there. I escaped from hell. Climbing up these weird blocks, and the monster from yesterday? What was that? This is your dream. What appears depends on you, doesn't it? Oh, I can't let you carry your memories of your dream back into the real world. If you were to try anything in reality, it'd be troublesome for my game. <laughs> well, now you'll be answering my question. This is the third question. If you were to cheat on someone, who is more likely to be at fault? <laughs> Which one? Oh, really? So that's your choice. How interesting. Your abilities are exceptional. You best work hard. It's not like no one has ever survived. Really? Far above this place, on the eighth floor. There's a cathedral. It's said that those who reach that holy pinnacle will have the path of freedom opened unto them. And of course, from this nightmare as well. So if I climb to the very top, I'll be saved? I've said too much. I'll guide you to the next trial. Cathedral, huh? Okay, fine. <laughs> Some dark blocks may be moved, while others cannot. Look at the various blocks in your way when determining your path. Damn it. Those traps again. Commencing area two. Are you ready?
more. Those two over there are talking about how to climb. Yeah, well, why don't you join them? Hmm. You don't sound very enthusiastic. It's a pain. Living, dying, it's not cool. Hopefully there's no annoying guys like my boss. Hey, have you heard the rumor about true freedom? They say that true freedom awaits you at the top. What is true freedom? Does that mean that even I can be free too? Free from the life I live? only gonna find out if you reach the top. Can you stand? Don't be nice to me. I may push you off one of these days. When I wake up, I forget everything that happens here. But before I know it, I'm back again. For the past few days, I've always been in this area. I know that if I keep going up, that terrible thing's gonna appear. Oh, I don't want to go any higher. You want to live, you gotta climb, got it? But, but, but what should I do? This place is gonna crumble soon, too. Let's go. That's all we can do. You cold blooded son of a bitch! Maybe I've been feeling weird lately. Before I know it, I'm here, covered in blood. I get beat up pretty bad, too. I'm all bloody from scratches and bites. It's not like that. It's not my blood. Hey, hey. Good of you to come this far. <laughs> Everyone's getting tired. Everyone! <laughs> hey, get a grip. You freak out. You're never gonna make it out of here. It's you. I get it, man. Night after night. I'm so tired. There's a hot lady in here. Maybe I'd be doing better. Even if there was one, she'd be a sheep. Come on. It's times like this when you need some eye candy to take your mind off things. <sighs> Do you know this way? I get the feeling something big's coming up. Want to trade techniques? Sure. Allow me to start with the technique I developed. Allow me to explain the swing out. When you pull a block, Drop in hand, then move to the other side. Now you can push the block. It's useful in tight spaces. Remember this one. Not a bad trick, you think? I have more. Allow me to explain the top one. If a stack of blocks is full of holes, pushing the lower blocks is an option. By causing blocks to fall, you may find a path upwards. That sounds useful. Oh, I just thought of something like that. Maybe this will help. Allow me to explain wall suspension. By using edges, you can connect with blocks forming walls. Blocks make edge connections on all sides, not just left and right. Suspend them from the walls and make new footing. I see. I didn't think of that. Buddy, you got moves. If I was a chick, I'd be all over you. I get it now. 
Ah, I want to climb, but these other sheep get in my way. They mess up the blocks that I pull out. I'm going to turn them all into sheep stew someday. I hear there was a great sheep who escaped this place a hundred years ago. Does that mean I might be able to get out too? Not might. You will. Right. I will get out. Those sheep there are talking about climbing techniques. I think I'll join them. Hey. Oh, man. I can't believe you didn't fall to the spike traps. That was fun to watch. I suppose you're different from the other sheep who stop here and wait for morning. Afraid. Waiting for destiny to save them. I could put this off. It'll only make me suffer longer. This is the fourth question. Have you ever gotten so excited you got a bloody nose? <laughs> and that's your opinion. I hope you were being honest. Hey, did all the other guys in here have the same person drop them in here? This is not the time to be worrying about the other sheep. Not if you want to survive. Listen. I can hear the voice of the one trying to take your life tonight. Again? This is the final area for tonight. Use the terrain to your advantage and avoid attacks.
opening the door. He's crossing the finish line. Your chamber is now behind you. Catherine? <sighs> Sorry, did, did I say something? Catherine. I did? Uh, <laughs> well, uh... It's okay. <laughs> but it's a bit embarrassing. It is? You haven't called me by my name before, <laughs> have you? Y your name? Catherine? <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Vincent? <laughs> uh, nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, are you angry with me? Sorry for coming by out of the blue. Wait, so she just crashed here? Well, I'm more surprised than angry. I just... I thought that you'd want to see me, Vincent. I... <laughs> Whoa, <kidding>. hey, hey. <laughs> I couldn't keep myself away from you. <laughs> <sighs> Last night was amazing. It was the first time I've ever done something like that. What? What? Whoa, 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 wait. What did I do? You're gonna make me say it? <laughs> You're so whoa, 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 wait. Okay, time out. Time out. <laughs> You've got ten seconds. Okay, look. Why me? Hmm? <laughs> because I like you. What about you, Vincent? What do you think about me? I, uh... I think you're really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what else? What else? <laughs> Am I just cute? How do I put this? I'm kind of jealous of you. You seem to live however you want. <laughs> what do you mean? That's normal, isn't it? Vincent, you can live however you want, too. Just so long as you never think of cheating on me. <laughs> cheating? <laughs> uh, listen, Catherine. There's something I gotta tell you. Oh... <laughs> Come on. Hey. You think you look good in those? <laughs> yes. <sighs> Quit joking around and listen. This is really important. Thanks, sorry. This month, I'm running really late. Huh? 
I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> Say something. Sorry, uh... So, what are you thinking? So why am I sweating? I mean, I, I have to take responsibility, right? Uh, uh, Come on, say something. Uh, uh, of course, I'm, I'm happy, but... But? This is great. So you're happy. That's good to hear. <laughs> to be honest, I was a little worried. It's so hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Oh, don't worry about me. I mean, yeah, it's surprising, but it's not like you're sure of anything yet, right? Well, yeah. Ah. Huh? Go ahead, answer it. Uh, okay. Hello? Oh, hello. It's me. Uh, hello. Thank you for calling. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey, I'm in the area. Do you think we can meet up? Yeah, that's going to be a little difficult. Uh... up or she'll suspect something uh, what's that N hello uh, you're, you're breaking up uh. <laughs> what was that huh <clears throat> oh huh? uh, just a call from work said something about a bug but it got cut off <laughs> you know the reception isn't very good in the office but it didn't sound urgent so not that. Your phone. Did you get another one? Huh? Oh, this. Yeah, the, the new model came out last week, so... It hasn't uh... been that long since you got your old one. You could have still used it. Didn't you buy a new computer a little while ago, too? You always throw your money away. I... You're going to have to watch yourself from now on. You know what I mean, right? Right. Sorry. Well, it's okay since you've been working hard. After all, I might have to take maternity leave. Yeah, you might, huh? Oh, but I plan to go back to work after having the baby. We'll just have to split up the housework, okay? You can't throw your clothes everywhere anymore. Oh, okay. Also, it's a woman's job to get married as soon as possible. Woman? It's a man's job to stay Whoa, soon as soon as possible. Okay. Really ticks me off. I'm gonna curse him to death. <laughs> Maybe his name will appear in the words from someone. Waiter! So you need to make sure you're saving up. And all your late night drinking isn't cheap, you know. So I'll be handling all our bank accounts. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Vincent, you've been acting weird today. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine, really. Uh, hey, is this the smoking section? Huh? Well, yeah. Oh, right. You've got to quit smoking, too. It's not good for the child. Bathroom, gotta go right now. I'll ask my parents when they'll be available. She didn't catch you. Still, if she's pregnant, your life is fucked with a capital F. It's not fucked yet. I, I mean, 
Nothing's set in stone. So then, what'd you tell her? <laughs> Who's the father? <laughs> I told her I was happy to hear about it. It doesn't look like you're happy at all. <sighs> this is all getting too much for me, you know? So you're finally tying the knot. Congrats, Papa. Get ready to kiss your wife's ass for the rest of your natural life. No going out late, no liquor, no smoking, no gambling. And no relaxing on weekends, because you've got to take care of the kids. Really? Dang, that sounds really tiring. Hey, you guys. Quit filling his head with doom and gloom. Erica! Come on, cheer up. Raising a nice, happy family is supposed to be a good thing, right? <laughs> a happy family. Never had one of those before. Yeah, I can't see it. Yeah, well, you're not the only one. That's irrelevant. It's just because of the way you two grew up. So, Vincent, what's this weird dream you said you had? We'll listen to you tonight. Weird dream? Why are you asking now? I, mean, I really can't remember it anyway. You don't? I was being chased by something. Uh, I don't know, it was scary. Sounds common to me. Yeah, and you feel like you didn't get any sleep at all that night, right? Oh, what are you doing here? Did you people know... the reason uh, you're taught as a child to count sheep so you'll fall asleep is... Yeah, yeah, sheep rhymes with sleep or something. Ah, sorry. Hey, boss, another rum and cola, please? Hey, don't be so rough on the guy. One day we'll all be old farts like him. Not all of us. Anyway, you're having these weird dreams because you're cheating. Yeah, I get that, but... Besides, Catherine might be pregnant, right? <sighs> don't need to remind me of that. It is in a man's basest instincts to cheat. Here you go. Enjoy. Yeah, set it down and walk away. It's about what happens now. Well, have fun while you still can. <sighs> Please. This month, I'm running really late. I think I'm pregnant. Me, raising a family? Doesn't exactly sound like a recipe for success. Ah, that was way too close to much. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your class. There are a lot of cocktails with the name Fizz in them, but do you know where this came from? Fizz-type cocktails are a distilled drink plus lemon, plus sugar, and soda water. Fizz refers to the sound the soda makes. They're all sweet, so even lightweights can wash them down like juice. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. What do you want to drink? I need a beer. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry to keep you waiting. You want to know the latest info about the curse? No. Your news is grade A 100% bullshit. Oh, like you've been finding out anything useful. Like it's gotten real for you, huh? You two have been together a while. It's about time. Congrats on having a kid. Let's do something to celebrate. It's not for sure yet. She said... No, she wouldn't tell you unless she was really sure. You're gonna do the right thing, right? 
I know. What are you upset over? Heck, I want to get married soon. You want to meet my parents and ask about how they got married? I go back home and drink some strawberry milk, kid. Come on, why you gotta go there? If you two hadn't met at the reunion, you wouldn't be going out right now. Life's all about timing, huh? Not planning out your life ahead of time's a waste of effort. None of us have the future we thought we would when we were kids. But all we can do is move along. Uh, Vincent's stealing your line, Reverend Johnny. Hey, I'm just a stray sheep in the field of life, too, you know. Uh, now that's Vincent. Cheating twice? <laughs> He's really gone uh, astray. <laughs> I never thought you'd be one to cheat in the first place. I can't believe it myself, either. So I guess they're taking applications from the general public for these space tours? Oh, 50,000. That's way too much. With my paycheck, I can't even afford a down payment. And boy, do I have a deal for you. I'd rather put all of my savings into lottery tickets than invest in one of your crazy schemes. Ooh, it'll hurt her if she finds out that I was cheating. Ooh. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about fear. Now that you've emptied your mug. It's said that glass shape and pore style has much to do with how much foam you get. But there is another factor. It's the cleanliness of the glass. Even a tiny bit of oil or dust will affect the beer's surface tension, making it less foamy. This means that it's not a good thing to wipe a wet beer glass with a dry cloth. Rinse the glass with hot water and turn it over to let it air dry. And please try this out. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want a drink? No, I'm cool. Good evening. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? When you have a lot of things to do, do you write them down on a piece of paper? When you have lots of things to do, do you just remember them? This one? I think Mr. Mr. Morgan would say the same thing. Twenty years ago, Mr. Morgan picked up a ball for me at the tennis court. Twenty years ago, Mr. Morgan worked in an ice cream shop to pay his tuition. Mr. Morgan likes vanilla ice cream. Mr. Morgan likes pouring maple syrup on vanilla ice cream. Oh. The cheese stretches. It is five days until the time of freedom. What are you talking about? You got mail. Pitiful. Men or women? This one? <laughs> a lot of people say that. When asked whether they'd like to return as a man or woman in the next life, the majority of people say they'd prefer to be a woman. Some scientists have even predicted that men will become extinct. It's the truth. Extinct? Apparently the Y chromosome is quite useless compared to the X chromosome, so it's possible. And what'll happen to the human race if men go extinct? Maybe there'll be a system where women can fertilize each other and bear children. Men try just as hard to live their lives, too. Isn't nature harsh? But on the whole, I think women have it harder. Being manipulated by stupid guys, being ground down by life. I did. It's something I shouldn't have. What are you talking about? It is the cross I must bear. You got mail.
You seem tired. Please relax in this salubrious bar. Well, how did it go with your girlfriend? I happen to overhear your conversation from here. What do you mean, how did it go? Nothing happened. Nothing yet, at least. Marriage, all in all, is a cowardly method that tries to subdue love through torture. <laughs> to steal a saying from a certain someone. Well, if you ask me, the trick to a long-lasting marriage is, frankly, to spend as little time together as possible. <laughs> you got mail. extremely loose with his relationships with women. I heard his funeral got stopped because women were fighting each other. Well, well, you can't talk about it like you're unrelated to it. This lovely couple is Daniel and Anna. Huh? Vince? Vincent Brooks? What? Do I know you? It's me, Daniel. We went to elementary school together. Oh, uh... What? You don't remember me? Oh, so you're Vincent. You're different from what I imagined. Don't say that. You see, Vincent, uh, I'm different from back then. I'm not the one tagging along. Now I'm the leader. I'm the heir to a successful business. A business heir, huh? Because of that. Wait, I heard your voice somewhere. Was it yesterday? Come to think of it. Maybe I had some premonition of our meeting today. Anyway, I can't believe you don't remember me, man. I'm sorry. You got mail. <laughs> Shit! Can't look at this in public. I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. Huh? You're gonna bother a cop on his break? You wanna ask me about that incident? I'm not gonna be much help. But it's men around your age who are dying. So be really careful. You don't seem too interested. Eh, yeah, no evidence has come up yet, and I'm on another case. Gotcha. I'm Morgan. If I find anything out about this incident, I'll tell you. So don't worry about the strange rumors. Well, I don't really care about the rumors. You look tired. Don't get too drunk, okay? Wait, call. Who is this? Hello? Shit, her. What do you mean, oh shit? Oh yeah, were you at the cafe near your place around lunchtime? Uh... Well, I, I can't really tell you that. Huh? What do you mean you can't tell me? Uh, well... Later? Wait! Is she okay? Have you heard about the witch? They say she's behind all these deaths. Didn't hear, didn't care. They say she can't die. Oh, lucky her. They say she doesn't age either. Oh, boy, I'm jealous. Yep, old age is gonna suck. Huh? Oh, uh, you know. Arthritis and all that.
<laughs> you get it, right? <laughs> the stage tonight is the Inquisition. Hurry up. You'll be judged there. Am I... seeing things? Half a man's worth is in his upward mobility. He unleashes his full potential when he's surrounded by women. That's why a real man shares his love with as many as he can. Flowers of femininity blooming in the shining rays of a man's love. I'm not after women. Then you're after me. Not a chance. You got mail. Bathroom's open. You know, Chief doesn't talk about his girlfriend, does he? He did say that he didn't plan to marry her, huh? He's so perfect at his job, I just kind of assumed that he was the same way in private. In school, he never dated girls that he wasn't fully committed to. All the girls said he was just too defensive. Ask him about it, Toby. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, that's not fair. Still drinking? I made up my mind. I'm a man. I'm making a decision. Today I'm gonna. I'm gonna. There we go. Oh, sorry. I was just talking to Erica. Hey, is Toby really into Erica? No. Oh. Kids drool over girls like that. Well, but <clears throat> it's Erica. What are we gonna do if something happens between them? Well, whatever. Everyone has issues these days. <sighs> Lately, going home to an empty house really hurts, you know? Stargazing? I, I know a good place. One that most people don't know about. Really? Where? Vincent, get out of my face! Did you hear, Vincent? Toby bought a car. Yeah, I got a good deal on it since it was last year's model. I mean, you know, it's still a brand new car, so it's perfectly fine. <laughs> well, as long as the seats are in good shape. <laughs> I'll make sure everything's lubed up. I, I'm, I'm in the car. You know, not... not oh, oh, God. Taking off now? You don't look so good. Maybe you should get someone to prop you up. I'm fine. I'm just going home to drink there. There are some things that you shouldn't run from, but there are also things that you should forget. <laughs> Thanks, Erica. Take care of yourself too, Erica. Don't work so hard, okay? We're not as young as we used to be. Hey! Hey, hey, it was just joking. Just joking. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> 